Hi guys, welcome to another interesting video tutorial on Angular 7 by Tech Tech Tuts. In this Angular 7 video tutorial, we are going to learn that how can we share data between independent component using service method. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So before starting this video tutorial, I would like to tell you that I have already created another video tutorial on how to share data between parent and child components from parent to child and from child to parent but in some situation in certain situation you might need to transfer data between independent components and share the same information between all those components for that purpose we use service method and let's see how can we implement the service method so first of all if you see on my screen in the browser you can see we have three Components parent 1 works parent 2 works parent 3 works all of these three components are independent components And I have created them using ng generate com command and you can see that Easily they have all the data like parent 3 works and parent 2 works parent 1 works So what I want that whatever I I would I would like to have a text box in app component dot html here so suppose I have a text box with the name is equal sorry name is equal to name and this information I would like that when I click this button click me when I click this button it will copy all that it will copy the data inside this text box to all these three components so the all three components will be showing the same data which I will type in this component so over root component also is that is a parent component for all these three components these three components are the childs of this parent components but they are independent components they are not they cannot share data between them so or, or i can also use suppose that so let me take this uh, input box to parent three so let's suppose i will put input box here so that you can see in the browser that no parent 3 have a text box and a button so if i click this button it will transfer data to all those two components other two components which are independent parent 1 and parent 2 so let's see how to do it first i need to generate a service i will call it data so it will be a data.service.ts file so here I have a data.service.ts file. In this ts file, I will import a module called behavior subject from rxjs. You need to use single quotes here. This is a standard practice. So after that, I will create a new variable. It can be a string, data can be from any API or anything it could be. So suppose I have a variable here private variable and I will call it D or anything I could I can call it so let me say content is equal to new behavior subject and the data type for this behavior subject will be string and I will pass default data to it so this will be our default data then we create another global variable or public variable so as share so this will be a shared data is equal to con this dot content dot as observable simply you need to do this after that if you want to you say that if any data change it will also implement on all other components so we need to create a function here update data and it will accept a text and then simply what you need to do this dot content dot next method you need to call and pass it to that string so it will automatically update this data and it will reflect and show all the updated data to the other component so how can we now implement it so first i will go into parent 3 so we need to make an import here so i will import a data service from dot dot slash dot slash data service so this is the path and then i will inject it so private data data 
service that's it and after that now this parent 3 will be responsible for changing data so i will take here a variable text is equal to for the time being it will be empty and i will bind this text variable with uh, in the in, with the text box here uh, here with this box so i will do value is equal to text so whatever we change the value here it will automatically change so we don't need the button here anymore because we don't need to click it will automatically change this value so it will automatically change this text so now what we need to do actually so we need to change this text as soon as this text is changed we want this to implement on other components as well so on change on change is equal to and we need to pass here a function update text and then we will pass it the name dot value so this value will be passed name because we are giving it a name and then it will pass this name dot value to this update text and this update text function i will create here and then it will take the text and what it will do it will update this data dot and now we need to update the data so i will call the update data method and then pass it to the text so it will automatically pass that data and will change it so now we have implemented the first part so now we need to get these both information into our parent 2 and parent 1 so let's go to the parent 1 ts file and here we need to import data service from dot dot slash dot slash and data that's it inject it so it's the same thing which we have done with the parent 3 so data and data service then we need to take a variable here text and it will be empty so on init or in the constructor we can do as we like we can do it in on init as well so this data dot share this variable as observable we have created so subscribe to it and get its value in the x variable and then this dot text is equal to x simply we need to copy this thing same uh, this code so i will copy all these lines copy them and then i will paste them in parent 2 dot ts file here and we will import data service data service from dot dot slash dot slash data service that's it and the rest is almost same then we go to the html part and we simply display here text and as well as i will do here parent one text save it and now when i go you will see default data here so as soon as i type something Hey there so it's uh, I think it's not changing maybe HTML file on change on key up uh, sorry my mistake key up so this one will how to use the event here so I will reload it it will reload let it to be I think it's already reloaded so now I will type here hey there so as you see as i am typing the data it's also changing in the both parent one and parent two also you can if you want to display it here simply you can do like here text and put it in a p tag that's it so now all three components will have the same data uh, text is empty because in the start text is empty so I will type here hey there so I think I did not this one is the text so this is the text and then I have to do this dot uh, data uh, sorry after updating this dot data dot share dot subscribe x and I will do uh, but this one will not work because I need to have another variable here 
text one is equal to this because this one is bind two way binding with uh, the input box so that's why we need data share dot subscribe x and this dot text one is equal to x and now I can do parent one dot html text one save it and now if I reload the page and I type something here here there now you can see it's showing the data and as well as if I want to get the data ng on in it this dot data dot share dot subscribe and then I will get the data x is equal to this dot text one dot uh, sorry is equal to x so that when the component initialized it will show the default data so whatever data we have put in the service app service data service dot ts file here so star and default data we can here put is shown and it will change all these three boxes and I am changing data dynamically so this is how we can share the data between independent components using service method you can use uh, anything here you can use a data you can use API data you can use a boolean string integer anything you can use here so it's up to you so this is the simplest possible example to share data between independent components so guys this is it hopefully you liked this video tutorial if you did then don't forget to press the like button and if you, if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel then do consider and subscribe to tech tech tools for more upcoming angular videos i have also started an angular videos tutorial series for absolute beginners as well so you can follow it as well and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as i upload a new video on my channel so guys thank you very much take care and goodbye